Hello, good morning viewers. Here is our first problem under second order linear non-homogeneous differential equations. Remember, we have to start from the simple one to the complex one. In our previous lesson, we have seen the introduction to the topic. So in this tutorial, we want to find the general solution to this equation, which is y double prime minus y equal to x squared. The general solution is of this form, y which is a function of x, equal to y of h plus y of p. y of h is the general solution to the homogeneous uh, second order linear differential equation. And we can only find the solution to this by setting the right hand side, which is x squared to be equal to zero. And y of p is the particular solution which depends on the nature of the right hand side, uh, which is a quadratic function. So first of all, let us start by finding the solution to the homogeneous differential equation by setting y double prime minus y to be equal to zero. But let me remind you the general form of the homogeneous type. We have a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equal to zero, where we have to transform the equation into an auxiliary form, uh, which is a r to the second power plus b r plus c equal to zero. Remember, y double prime is replaced by r squared, y prime to be replaced with r, and y should be replaced with one. So the same thing here, you see y will be replaced with one, and y double prime will be replaced with r squared. So we have r squared here minus one equal to zero. So now we have a quadratic equation in which we have to solve for the roots of the equation. And the nature of the roots will determine the form of general equation you're going to obtain. So now let us solve this one. r squared will be equal to positive one if you take negative one to the right. And r will be equal to plus or minus square root of one. Therefore, r could either be positive one or r equal to negative one. So you can see we have real and distinct roots. So therefore, the general solution will be of this form, constant e to the first root times x plus another constant e to the second root multiplied by x. So let's start. You can see that we have constant here, e to the first root. The first root is one times x is x plus c2, e to the second root, which is negative one times x is negative x. So this is the general solution to this homogeneous differential equation where we can now save this one for future use. y of h equal to c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x. So now let me wipe this one and find the solution to the other function, which is y of p. Okay, now we want to find the solution to this. y of p, you know, it depends on the nature of the right hand side. If you have a quadratic function, then you set y sub p to be uh, a quadratic polynomial. The general form is a x squared plus b x plus c. Now you take the first derivative, y prime of p equal to, if you differentiate the first term, you get 2a x, differentiate the second term, you get b. Last one is constant, it becomes zero. You differentiate again the second time, Differentiating this x will go leaving to a and this is constant it becomes zero So we are going to substitute these three information in the general equation y double prime should be replaced with 2a and uh, Minus y and you can see this is y we put bracket we we'll write the y a x squared plus b x plus c and we set everything to be equal to the right hand side, which is x squared. Now let us distribute negative sign. We have 2a. Well, let me bring those constant together. You can see I have only single constant here. So I have minus c 
then followed by those with x i have minus bx the last one those with x squared i have only single term minus a x squared and this is equal to x squared to the right so we are going to solve this problem by relating the coefficients these are constant remember so the constant we don't have any constant to the right so we are going to set the constant to be equal to zero 2a minus c equal to zero this implies that uh, 2a is equal to c then the coefficient of x to the left is minus b minus b equal to to the right we don't have any coefficient of x so this becomes zero this implies that b is equal to zero we have already solved for b we have coefficient of x squared to be negative a to the left and to the right we have the coefficient of x squared to be one so let's come here we have negative a to be equal to one this implies that a is equal to negative one if a is negative one we can solve for c here because 2a is equal to c therefore 2 multiplied by negative one is equal to c minus 2 because this time this is minus 2 equal to c you can see that a is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to uh, negative 2 while b is equal to 0 you can see b is equal to 0 so now let us substitute a b and c in y sub p here this is where we're going to substitute it so y sub p equals a we have it as negative 1 so we have negative x squared plus b is zero so the whole of this time is gone what we have left is c and c is negative two so we have negative two so we have y sub h and y sub p adding them together will give us the general solution to our equation so y finally will be equal to y sub h which is c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x we are done with y sub h then we add what we have as y sub p is negative x squared the minus 2 so this is the general solution to this equation here but there's something i want us to confirm altogether um, is y sub p we learned that y sub p is going to be a function which when you take the second derivative of the function minus the original function we are going to obtain x squared to the right let's see if this is true we are already done so i just want to confirm it this is y sub p let us take the first and second derivative of this if you differentiate this you get um minus 2x then this becomes zero so y prime of p is this and y double prime of p will be equal to minus 2 x will go so now let us substitute it here to see whether we're going to get x squared y double prime is minus 2 then minus y y is um minus x squared minus 2 if you distribute this you have minus 2 minus minus is plus x squared then this becomes positive 2 you can see this cancel this what we have left is x squared this is true to the right hand side we have x squared so this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day